It's a very different kind of forgetting. It's like it never went in. It's not like you can retrieve it. It's just not there. I don't want to end up like my mother did. Her name was Elizabeth. She went by Betty. This is an A4 study at USC for a drug to help impede the progression of Alzheimer's disease. In the field of therapeutic research, working directly on testing therapies, I think we have a unique role here. We are the coordinating center for some of the largest studies in the academic and public-private areas uh, working on AD therapeutics. So ACTC, the Alzheimer's Clinical Trial Consortium, is based here. And we coordinate ADNI, the Alzheimer's Disease Neuroimaging Initiative, which has been setting standards for measurement of Alzheimer's disease with biomarkers and imaging and cognitive tests uh, since 2004. I'm going to evaluate how well you can remember the names of some common items. We are at the center of many major efforts. If we can stop the generation of amyloid and or remove existing plaques from brain, and we do it before there's too much irreversible damage, it should slow the course of the disease. I just don't want to be a burden on anybody with this disease. I wouldn't miss an opportunity to try to do something about it. So we are in the ATRI biomarker laboratory right now. In this lab is where we receive all of the biospecimens that are coming from our sites for our trials. The yellow material, this is plasma. And that's what has a lot of Alzheimer's disease biomarker information in it. I think the most exciting thing that's happened in the past year or so is the uh, field of blood-based biomarkers. A lot of studies have determined that we can find proteins related to things going on in the brain that you can detect in the blood. We can use samples you know, from, from these studies, which are located right here, and they're just located in these boxes. You just come in here, find your sample, and see they're all labeled. You can pull them right out. It's a very exciting time in Alzheimer's disease biomarker work. I think we're gonna see almost a complete replacement to some of the more invasive or expensive techniques. We changed our whole screening process to now allow for the blood-based biomarker to be the first point of that screening so that people didn't have to unnecessarily get PET scans if they had very, very low levels of amyloid in the brain. We have learned to evaluate Alzheimer's disease more deeply. We can measure the disease in people who have no symptoms, and that allows us to conduct trials of agents that we think can slow the process. We can conduct trials, and we have a regulatory pathway for approving drugs at the asymptomatic phase of disease. This is all based on academic innovation. It's changing the way we do things. So understanding Alzheimer's disease in genetic populations is very important. Alzheimer's disease uh, was known to exist in people with Down syndrome uh, back in the early 70s. It was an early onset form of dementia. And in the 1980s, researchers actually identified the plaques that are seen in Alzheimer's disease to be identical to the plaques that are seen in the brains of people with Down syndrome. We know that people with genetic forms of Alzheimer's disease are going to develop the disease. By that fact, we can try earlier and earlier interventions where less and less neurodegeneration has taken place. If you know somebody who has gone through Alzheimer's like uh, my brothers and I did with my parents, I mean, it, it is horrible. It is horrible. I would say that our biggest effort right now is something called the AHEAD platform. And the AHEAD platform, we might say, is the next generation of asymptomatic AD pathology trials. We are using a next generation intervention that removes amyloid from brain. 
and I'm being given an infusion of a medication that they have been given to people that are older than me who have been diagnosed. Uh, I'm getting it now. And so in the next five years, I think we're gonna move into primary prevention, which is even before anyone has the disease. It's, it's like you take your cholesterol levels and you adjust it so that you prevent heart disease. That's sort of the primary prevention element. We now have blood tests that will allow us to do it potentially in the next five years. Primary prevention means that we will monitor people as they get older before there are any of the molecular changes of Alzheimer's disease. We'll identify a tendency towards those changes and fix the, the abnormalities that create that tendency. On my piano, I have a picture of my, uh, my grandson at age six sitting at a little baby piano while I'm playing the piano. And that, to me, that's, that's who this is for. It's this persistence and innovation that I think has brought us to where we are today, which is on the cusp of major advance.